The National Weather Service extended a flood watch through Sunday evening for areas of East Kentucky ravaged by high water more than a week ago and said there's a threat of thunderstorms in the region for much of the coming week. Democrats cried with joy and pumped their fists in the air after the U.S. Senate finally approved a key plank of President Joe Biden's domestic agenda. The bill, a product of 18 months of intense wrangling, will now be sent to the Democratic-controlled House, where it could pass as soon as this week. For a third straight day, Israeli forces and Islamic militants traded fire on the Gaza Strip. The violence has killed at least 20 in Gaza and wounded hundreds more. MSNBC's Matt Bradley details a possible truce on the horizon. John Travolta's private life has been at the center of many a media storm, but with so many romantic connections, it's hard to keep track of his latest love interest. Recently, he decided to come out and set the record straight. What he had to say was fascinating. Approval to distribute birth control pills over the counter in the United States has swiftly become a crucial battle, particularly in the wake of the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, which has legalized abortion nationwide. 